fortify, detoxify, which one do you need? And do you need any of them at all? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. If this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. Today's topic are the Pixi Fortify and Detoxify eye patches. I have the Fortify ones first and I really enjoy them. And then I got the Fortify ones, which are aimed more at firming and more mature skin like me. They look exactly the same like the Detoxify ones. So I thought, let's do a comparison. These are instantly firming and lifting to rejuvenate, restore and replenish your under eye area. Whereas these are instantly depuffing and reviving hydrogel patches, which revive, refresh and rehydrate your under eye. There's a spatula that you use to scoop out one of them and then you just press them underneath your eye and wear them for around 15 minutes and they adhere pretty well so they don't slide down. In terms of ingredients, the majority of ingredients is the same, which is due to the Texture. The main difference is that the Fortify ones contain retinol, they contain SH peptides which mimic growth factors and are said to be wound healing and increase collagen production and they contain caffeine to depuff which is strange because I would have expected that caffeine was in the Detoxify ones but it actually isn't. These are rich in antioxidants and in niacinamide. Both are really hydrating and contain a ton of humectants. And I think that's the forte of both of them. They are hydrating, plump, fine lines and yeah, just make your under eye area appear smoother. If peptides and retinol in a gel formula are actually really delivered into your skin, thing goes for the niacinamide here, I'm not sure. And even if they wear, these are used as a face mask. So you will never get the same effect of a face mask that you get from a product that you use every day. Do you need them in your routine? Mm, no, you actually don't. Just pick one of them. If you're above 35, this one is fine. If you're younger and just want some brightening, this one is fine. I don't think they actually perform that different on the eye. And make sure if you want retinols and peptides and all that stuff, you look for it in, in your serum or in your eye cream. But I do recommend having either of them in your stash, preferably in the fridge, to just pop on for a special event and feel all bougie and glam and look well rested, even if you actually aren't. So which one would you pick? Please tell me in the comments below. I'm going to link to more videos that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye!